Where's North from here? Happy Halloween, trainers. I'm some spooky guy, and in this Halloween special, we were looking at something cheerful, something light-hearted, something to take the edge off. Nah, just kidding. We're counting down all the times Ash Ketchum has died. Seriously, this kid has died more than Krillin from Dragon Ball, all right? Shenron would have a bloody field day with Ash. There are six instances across the Pokemon anime and movies in which the character of Ash Ketchum has pretty much literally died, but Obviously, with this being Pokemon, he always comes back to life. The first instance of this is back in the original Pokemon anime. Ash, Misty and Brock travel to Lavender Town so Ash can catch a Ghost-type Pokemon to battle against Sabrina's Psychic types. You know, even though all the Gen 1 Ghost types are part poison. Whilst in the Pokemon Tower, a chandelier falls on Ash and Pikachu. Ghastly, Haunter and Gengar then remove their souls from their bodies and turn them into ghosts. Which, to his credit, Ash takes pretty well. He thinks it's a right old laugh and goes on a fun adventure with the ghost types before returning to his body. Just an average day in the Pokemon world, really. The next instance we see Ash get mullered is probably the most famous and comes from the first Pokemon movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back, which is the best Pokemon movie, by the way. I will accept no arguments. In the climactic battle between the originals and the clones, Ash looks around at all the injured Pokemon, literally fighting tooth and claw to the death because Mewtwo has blocked all their moves and abilities with his psychic powers. Mew and Mewtwo charge up huge blasts of psychic energy and launch them towards each other Dragon Ball Z style, but Ash jumps in the way to stop the fighting. He's turned to stone and boom, no more Ash, he, he is dead. Dead as a dodo. Pikachu tries to revive him with Thunderbolt in a heart-wrenching scene, but to no avail. All the Pokemon then cry, and their tears revive Ash, just like the prophecy the Ganga told near the start of the movie, and it's all sad and beautiful and then happy again. And then Mewtwo takes off with his clones, repenting in what he's done, and just wipes everyone's minds. Happy days. After this, Ash actually manages to stay alive all the way through Johto until he gets to the Hoenn section of his journey, but here he dies twice. The first instance comes in the movie Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, where Ash and the gang are, I'm guessing, dissolved by those weird red blob antibody things that attack anything that's not a Pokemon. And you know, it's quite a sad scene with all the trainers letting their Pokemon out of their Pokeballs whilst they're dying in front of them so they can be safe. And they're telling them that they love them and they're saying goodbye and... Th this, this is a kid's film, right? But don't worry, Mew brings them all back to life. Then in Pokemon Ranger and the Temple of the Sea, Ash full-on drowns when saving May, Pikachu and Manaphy from the Sea Temple. He locks them in an air capsule so they'll be safe and able to breathe as the temple is flooding, and then he dives down into the flooded temple to reunite the final crystal with the Sea Crown and, well, save the day. But in doing so, he's so deep down, he actually just ends up drowning. Everyone actually believes it too, with May and Pikachu mourning his death back on the surface, until ultimately Manaphy saves him. God, these legendary and mythical Pokemon come in handy, don't they? Surprisingly, again, Ash lives all the way through Sinnoh, but once again, dances with death in the Pokemon movie White, Victini, and Zekrom. Ash, Pikachu, and Victini are trapped in a floating castle that's rising higher and higher into the atmosphere. The thin air makes it harder and harder for Ash to breathe, and the higher he goes, the colder it gets. Eventually, he passes out from the lack of oxygen and presumably freezes to death whilst trying to keep Victini and Pikachu warm, apologising to them because he failed them. Again, Jesus, they really like these sad scenes in the movies, don't they? Victini's heartbroken. It can't bear to see Ash die because it's had such a good bond with him all the way through the film. So it uses its power to revive and save Ash, seemingly dying itself in the process. But don't worry they both end up fine by the end of the film. And the final instance of Ash kicking the bucket comes from the Pokemon movie I Choose You, which is the second best Pokemon movie, I will accept no arguments. In this retelling of the start of Ash's Pokemon journey, Ash and Pikachu make some new friends from the Sinnoh region, wink wink, and attempt to track down the legendary Pokemon Ho-Oh. After Ash defeats Cross in a battle who's his new rival from the Alola region, and in this retelling of events was the original trainer of Ash's Charmander, Cross snatches the rainbow wing from Ash that Ho-Oh gifted to Ash and attempts to summon it. However, because he wasn't the one chosen by Ho-Oh because he's not pure-hearted, it turns dark, and Marshadow, who 
for some reason is connected to ho -Oh, appears, takes the rainbow wing from Cross, turns it into like a dark, shadowy wing of some kind, and just turns a load of Pokemon in the area evil and makes them attack Ash and his friends. The trainers battle back, but ultimately they're overpowered and defeated. And in a moment mirroring the Spearow attack from episode one of the anime, all the Pokemon launch attacks at Ash, who forces Pikachu to get back in its Pokeball before he is literally destroyed by their attacks, turning into pure energy and fading away right in front of Pikachu's eyes. Pikachu goes full on Super Saiyan against Marshadow and all its evil Pokemon and blasts them all away with a massive Thunderbolt before crying over Ash's hat. Ash is revived, presumably by Hobo like it did with the legendary beasts, and Ash and Pikachu are reunited. This is, it, it's such a beautiful scene. I, I was sat watching it with one of my good friends and I, I was nearly crying. They then summon ho for a battle with a new Rainbow Wing, the outcome of which isn't revealed to us, and then Ash and his friends part ways, and he goes on his journey. You know, completely unfazed by the fact he just died. And there you go, those are the six times Ash Ketchum has pretty much, and in some cases, definitely died. I don't think there's anything I missed, but if I did, then please share them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this Halloween special, then leave a like to show your support, and subscribe with notifications enabled to see more content from me. You can also connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, and my Discord server. Links to all of those will be down in the description. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video, but until then, keep training and have a good one. Happy Halloween!